Have you ever wondered why the apocryphal books were removed from the King James Bible? I'm Pastor G, and this is Biblical Elucidation, where we shed light on the scriptures to reveal things that once seen can't be unseen. So, what are these apocryphal books? Well, prior to their removal from the King James Bible in 1885, the Apocrypha was a collection of 14 books that fell right between the Old and New Testaments. To Catholics, these books are called the Deuterocanonical Books or the Second Canon. But to most Protestants, these books are not considered inspired at all and are not included in the Protestant Bible. But why the divide? Should the Apocrypha be included in the Biblical Canon? or not. As it turns out, the confusion about the apocryphal books dates back to the writings of the Greek translation of the Old Testament called the Septuagint or LXX, completed somewhere around 200 BC, which included the Apocrypha, but were never considered as a part of the Tanakh by the Jews. Although there are several instances in which phrases from the apocryphal books are quoted or alluded to in the New Testament. If we fast forward to after 1611, when the King James Version of the Bible became the definitive Protestant Bible, a little over 200 years later, in 1885, the editors of the King James Version of the Bible decided to remove the Apocrypha along with any references or footnotes regarding them, causing a further divide between Catholic and Protestant interpretations of the scriptures. But to our surprise, there is a King James Version of the Catholic Bible which brings the King James Version back to its original form. However, most modern King James versions still omit the Apocrypha or tuck them away in the back in the appendix. So, there you have it. Whether you consider the Apocrypha part of the canon or not, it's fascinating to delve into the history of how this collection of books became so controversial and such a powerful source of contention between Christian denominations. And if you've learned anything and want to learn more about the Bible and its books, check out my books, 